Are you worried about losing your Merchant Pack Amazon account? And are you getting tired of scrolling through the USPTO database? If that's the case, I've got some tactics and some tools for you that you can use to avoid rejections and keep your Amazon accounts safe. When it comes to avoiding rejections, there's two browser extensions that I use all the time when uploading. And the first one is Producta. It's free and I'll link to it down below in the description. The next one is paid for, but definitely worth it. It is the Merchant Former Trademark Check. Now to demonstrate what I mean, I've just prepared a little Little, uh, example listing here. We can already see the first plugin in action Productus highlighting that distress is a banned word because Amazon will give you a rejection for this. You're not meant to use this in your listings. So that would be the first thing we would take out in this case. Then what I like to do is use these buttons by Producta to do a quick trademark search and the EU's come up green which means we're all clear for trademarks whereas the US has flagged up ideal. I would take that out of the listing, hit search again and as we can see now both of those are green. Then I would tick the merchant former trademark check and it's flagged up fish. So why is this flagged up fish if the other ones are green? So let's take a look. If you click into this and hit the serial number, it will bring up the entry on USPTO. As we can see, this one is cancelled. It was active until May 2021, and we can see here in the goods and services it was for footwear. So that would have been a right to sell on t shirts, hoodies, etc. But it's cancelled anyways. So this listing is now looking pretty safe in terms of trademarks. This isn't a guarantee that you won't get a rejection, but if you don't use any of these tools, it's a lot more likely that you'll oversee some of these trademarks. So another thing Producta does really well is it shows you if your youth size is selected. So if you are making a design for alcohol for example and you forgot to untick that box you will get a reminder just before publishing. Another useful thing you can do with Merchant Former is click into the trademark section and go to trademark alerts. What you can do in here basically type in a lot of your frequent keywords that you use in most of your listings. You can then hit save to add them to your list. You get a little X here if there is a trademark found for that search term. I just uh, check back in here maybe once a week to make sure that none of these have become trademark. I can know that the listings that I have already uploaded in the past are still fine and shouldn't be taken down because of uh, newly registered trademark. You also have the ability to use their Trademark Hunter section to upload a lot of your ASINs and have them checked regularly. The same thing here, if a trademark comes up in your listing, it will give you a warning. So that was a quick rundown of some of the tools that I use. Now let's talk about some tactics and strategy to avoid getting rejections as well as avoiding takedowns of your past uploads. So what I typically do is I totally stay away from sort of hot trends. The best sellers that you see in all the research tools, they might be good to get some short term sales or have a few weeks of a well selling design, but oftentimes Amazon will then take down some of those because they're either against their content policy or someone's registered a trademark relating to this trend. I've had it happen to me in the past. I've even uploaded designs themed around trends that never even got a sale and then half a year later they were taken down and it, it can negatively impact your account. So stay away from that, especially if you've got a higher tier account. Just go into evergreen niches, stay away from trends. They're just more dangerous. One thing I also wanted to mention is there's no magic number of rejections after which your account gets closed. This is a question I often had when starting out with MBA. I was sort of wondering, oh, I'm nearly at 50 rejections. Will I have my account closed now? I obviously don't know what sort of the limit is or how rejections work exactly. No one really knows that about Merchant Amazon. But just to give you an example, I have had over the three years of selling on Amazon, I've looked through my emails, I've had 210 rejections in that time frame, um, which sounds a lot and it does feel like a lot. It is quite scary when you get them still after three years. But I have also uploaded over um, 140,000, I think, uh, products on Merch by Amazon. So out of that amount of products, comparatively, it's a low amount of rejections. If you get a rejection just because you had the youth sizing enabled on a beer design, it's probably not going to impact your account as badly as infringing on Disney, for example. <laughs> if you upload a, a design related to Disney and put it in your tags, you're a lot more likely to get your account closed very quickly. So I hope you found these tips useful. If you have any other tools and suggestions of how to avoid rejections and takedowns, then feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Let's help each other out and stop having to worry about rejections. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.